Welcome to this edition of Train for Aptitude. Today we look at the first concept on the problems on time and distance. Let us now read the problem. A train travels 50% faster than a car. Both start from Rampur at the same time and reach point Bhimpur 75 km away at the same time. On the way, however, the train lost about 12.5 minutes while stopping at the stations. What is the speed of the car? Our options are a 100 km per hour, b 110 km per hour, c 120 km per hour, d 130 km per hour. From the visualization, we assume that the speed of the car is sc or x km per hour. a is renamed for Rampur, b is renamed for Bhimpur. The speed of the train thus is 1.5 sc km per hour or 1.5 x km per hour. The total stops can be imagined as a stop on a single platform for 12.5 minutes also. This visualization shows once a destination point B is reached. The assumption here is that the train and car have moved steadily throughout the journey excepting for the train stopping at the station or the platform for 12.5 minutes. To find the answer, we look at the information that is given. If we assume the speed of the car is x, the speed of the train would be 1.5x or 3 by 2x. If the time taken by the car to reach the destination would be t, that is 75 km to be t, then the train would take t minus 12.5 minutes to reach the same distance. We will need to ensure that the units of time is consistent, so we will convert 12.5 minutes to hours. We then begin with looking at an equation to find the difference in time between the time of travel of the car and time of travel of the train and substitute it with the distance by speed equations in each of the positions of the time and then solve to find x. The value is 120 km per hour. To generalize the problem, we assume the speed of the train would be a times the speed of the car that is ax. The time of stopping of the train is small t minutes. The next step in generalization is to convert the time in minutes to hours. We shall represent that by t dash hours. The final step in generalization is to begin with the equation for the time stoppage. That is nothing but the time taken by the car to travel minus the time taken by the train to travel. We substitute the time of travel of the car and the train by the distance by speed of car and distance by speed of the train equations that is t dash is equal to d by x minus d by ax and then we solve for x thank you for watching train for aptitude please encourage us by following our youtube channel and liking our facebook page you could also check us on our website trainforaptitude.in